this is Jesse with Board Games with Dad, and we're here with our Christmas haul. Uh, we got uh, 19-ish games that we're going to run down, why we want to play them, what order we're going to play them in. Here's kind of the, the backdrop of all of the games. Uh, first up, and actually we've already played Exploding Kittens. Kevin, you want to... What do you got to say about Exploding Kittens? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's like push your luck, sort of. Yep, it's an elimination game, push your luck, two to five players. We had a great time playing with it. Uh, the next thing everybody is just dying to break into, we're going to pull out, flick, flick them up. up. We played this at Gen Con and had a ton of fun. Alex, you got anything to add about mm -hmm. flick them up? Mm, no. Or maybe number three was Alex's gift. Batman Flux. Anything to add on that? Mm. <laughs> and then we're going to go with Dimension is going to be our number four game. This is one that Alex played at Gen Con. Actually, I think we all played it. Uh, it's kind of a thinking game, abstract game. Uh, that'll be number four. Number five was Six Nimitz. Six Nimitz. Another kind of I guess it's kind of a push your luck. What do you say, guys? Push your yeah. luck kind of game? Um, well, so uh, Elimination mean, it's game. Yeah, it's a little more complex mm -hmm. than that. Uh, it's like then, uh, Camel Up. Oh, yeah, it's like Bonanza like a little bit. Camel Up expansion. Then we've got an expansion for Camel Up uh, from My Secret Santa. Really looking forward to playing that one. Yeah. Um, Kevin has no idea what this game is. He just calls it the Japanese one. It's Deep Sea Adventure. Um, this is a fun game. Uh, I'm looking forward to helping them learn to play that one. Uh, then we want to make sure that Terry's able to play something, so she's got an expansion for Ticket to Ride. She Alvin loves that. Alvin and Dexter. Alvin and Dexter, yep. All right, Kevin, what's up next after that, um, after we play the Ticket to Ride one? What is next is Change Horses. Yep. It's a uh, neat little game where you have to come in last instead of first. Exactly. And what's up after that, Alex? Then we have Poseidon. Ah, Poseidon's, Poseidon's Kingdom. Kingdom. This a is game a, from the Lamont Brothers. Exactly. These are the guys that did Sheer Panic. There is, I don't know, a metric buttload of dice in that game. Yeah, it's a super I, heavy box. I, I looked in, I estimated about 20. Um, and then there's kind of a more of a puzzle game for two players. We're going to play Wakanda after that. That comes in 11th place. That and then Kevin got... Survive Space Attack, the original, like the original Survive, except apparently for the space theme. Yep, Alex. Then we have Machi Koro, the Deluxe Edition. Yeah, this is a good way to go if you like Machi Koro. It's got both expansions already in there. Then, uh, I don't know, we're probably talking in a couple of days, but our next game is going to be New York 1901. This is a kind of a Tetris-style... Uh, game where you're trying to jock, jockey for position. A uh, lot of fun at Gen Con playing that one. Next up, Next Kev? up is Jeff Ford. It's a game. I don't yeah, really it's a know. game. We don't know anything about it. Yeah, uh, and there's dice in the top, so I know it's going to be a great one. And it's a card game Very as well. biased about the dice. Do you know anything Actually, about the next one? So, no. Mad King Ludwig. The Castles of Mad King Ludwig. It is a puzzle game. Um, it's kind of like Lords of Vegas. That's the best I can do for it right now. Kev, what do we got next? Um, next is Artifacts. Oh, Artifacts, you're Except right. it's kind of buried there a little bit, because you keep yep. burying them. <laughs> I keep burying the games. All right, yeah, so Artifacts. We don't know anything about this one. Uh, Terry surprised me with this. She doesn't really know anything about it either. So I'm eager to check this one out. And then, Kev? Castaways. Castaways. Semi-cooperative. Have no idea what semi-cooperative means. I know what it means. It means uh, like it's cooperative except you're working to your own ends. Yeah. And then... We what's up after that? Dice. Nice. Nation's Dice. Dice. You're right, Alex. Nation's Dice. That was another uh, Secret Santa game. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know As if you are, I, Alex. As am I, because I love Dice. Sort of. I yeah. Uh, we played Nations. It's kind of a complex game, so this is way down on number 19 for our playlist because I just think it's going to be really complicated to play. Yeah. But and then we're going to try the and we're going to try Munchkin 
because Kevin got a promo card and Kevin got a ton of hero clicks, which we're probably not going to play at all. But yeah. Kevin will be able to play hero clicks yeah. next week. I will be able to play that a lot. So Bye. check out our review on these later on at boardgameswithdad.com.